Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Phoenix and welcome to Industrial Craft 2 and this build is uh, 389 been quite a few fixes since the last video um, quite a few changes as well I'm going to be mainly covering the steam stuff but first of all I will cover the various little bits and pieces so first off the OD scanner has a UI now uh, universal fluid cells can output um, fluids into the world, like so. Um, oh, haven't looked at this one yet. Let me just connect this up to power. Um, looks like some kind of it's a, it's an electric sorting machine. From the looks of things, you can tell it to go into specific. So if you were to have We wanted cobble, so that would be E. Top cobble to go out of E. Oh, it does actually tell you if there's a chest there. So you can input things, so from a hopper. So that is actually um, telling me so if we said that we wanted dirt to come out of the south side, we then get, presumably, dirt going into there and cobble going into there. So it's just like, a, it's a sorting machine really. Um, don't know if you have to give it power. Yeah, it does seem to take power, and you just tell it where you want things to go, and all's good. Um, and pr that was pretty easy to work out. Uh, right, the windometer. Okay, so the windometer will tell you the wind speed at any given height. Uh, now, if you go up to 150, that seems to be the optimum height to go to. Any higher than that, um, the wind speed decreases, and lower than that, obviously, the wind speed decreases as well. So, if you get it at about 150, it's uh, at 22. Higher than that, it starts to go down. Lower than that, it goes down as well. Uh, the containment box. So the containment box, you can use this to put in your uranium, your sort of radioactive material, and then carry it around without the need of a hazmat suit. And this seems appears to support all things like fuel rods and the radioactive versions of the ore. So yeah, that's sort of the, the uranium. So it will support the enriched uranium fuel, the normal uranium, tiny uranium, all these sort of uranium things, all the fuel rods. Seems to support all of that stuff. And you can just put it in that containment box and carry it around without um, getting radiation poisoning. Alright, uh, steam stuff change. So here we have our reactor. It's just a bog standard reactor with our usual. Oh, Wait a minute. The reactor might have exploded since the last time I used it. I might just need to fix it. Excellent. Okay. So first off, the liquid heat exchanger now only outputs a maximum of 100. It will start at 10. Let's show you this. So it starts at zero, sorry. And then for each one, and you need at least one for it to do anything, um, it will add 10. Um, up to a maximum of 100. This liquid heat exchanger can then put your um, heat into uh, into the steam generator, and this will slowly build up heat. I'll turn the reactor on, yeah, so that we can get some uh, cooling coming out there. So you need at least a system heat of 100 degrees Celsius. 
this will um, and it also tells you how much heat it, it is actually receiving so when that gets to 100 then we can start introducing water into the um, into the element and you can also in, in, uh, increase the pressure now the output will tell you if you're getting water out or if you're getting steam out and you can fiddle around with this until um, you get uh, something useful okay, so let's start introducing now we're getting steam and as a result we're getting lots of explosion particles I don't know why um, now you in the steam generator we've got our uh, our steam turbine and it's taking a little bit of damage as it does it's also got a variable output which goes down the more water is in the system so you do need to empty this somewhere now, I've got a fluid ejector upgrade which throws everything into the condenser we can also put the distilled water back into the steam generator if you wanted and that's a lot better with um, just turn that off and that's that's a lot better with uh, calcification which you will get a little bit if you're just using bog standard water uh, your kinetic steam generator is then hooked to a kinetic generator which will provide you the power obviously the more um, the more heat you're getting out of this the more efficient that this is going to be and so the more steam you'll get out and the more power you're going to be able to make I haven't tried this yet with um, with railcraft steam but I assume it will probably work in, in, in the same way I might try that on um, in my let's play world who knows so I think that's everything now uh, there's nothing new that I've seen in the notes anyway um, I'll have a quick look down I don't think there's anything new anyway ooh there's a fluid distributor that's new I would assume but that would take in the problem is that there's no real notes about this so let's have a look right so that's not going to be any help um, I would assume that one of these is the input and one of these is the output but it uses green and blue which I don't Hold on, no, that would those would be the outputs, wouldn't it? And that would be the input. Hmm, interesting. Can I change faces with the wrench, I wonder? Aha, I can. So I can change the input side. that's the input, so the blue one's the input and the green ones are the output. Not completely sure how useful that would be, especially if, you're, you, if you've got access to pipes, but I'm sure you, know, you can find something to use that for. I uh, don't think there's anything else. This thing, I still don't know what this thing does, I haven't had another play with it, around with it recently. There's still very little in, little in the way of... Um... No, it does take water. Ah, hello! Right, so it takes water, and it turns into distilled water. Ah, okay. So this is actually a way of distilling the water without putting it through a condenser. You can have a, a so solar distiller, put water in it, and you get distilled water out. It's very slow you might need multiple to really run anything off it but um, that's interesting uh, other than that I think we're good uh, yeah looks like it looks that way so that's been everything from build 589. Um, hope this has helped some people. Uh, I 
industrial craft is constantly changing and so I'm constantly update, having to update my videos and my reactors just start to melt I think I got it in time though. Um, so anyway thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>